Dr. Jose Delgado, um, this is someone who you really want whispering sweet nothings in your ears in the evenings, ladies. Operated at Yale, uh, New Haven for 20 years, from 1950 to 1970. Um, sorry, not Yale, New Haven, Yale University. The new knowledge is so important that I think it should radically change the philosophy of our educational system, which believes in the sanctity of individuals. Thinking that an individual exists at birth, this belief is not true. And this science is going to prove the fallacy of democracy in the sense that we talk about the rights of the individual. The democratic belief is not true because we are forming this individual, because we are constructing his brain. We are willy-nilly making differences we either desire or dislike. They'll go out on a research paper quoted by the great Jim Keith. Everybody check out the book Mass Control. Um, excellent book. So he's financed by the Office of Naval Intelligence. Um, the book, I, the paper I believe that is being referenced here is Physical Control of the Mind Towards a Psycho-Civilized Society. He designed various um, electromagnetic magnetic frequency-based, somehow DNA-based mind control entrainment technology, or at least theorized about it in the 1950s. I think that they had plenty of advanced technology for that back then. So, um, hmm, is this relevant? What do you think, Rich? Relevant? Sweet. Thanks, man. <laughs> Seems like a nice guy to me, man. You know, he's got a big smile on his face, sitting on somebody's futon, 